four. Welcome to the Berlin Conservation Commission meeting, uh, April 17th, 2024. Open session public meetings are subject to being recorded. Your voice and image will be recorded. Uh, all right. Uh, we don't have minutes. We do not. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, I thought I missed something. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll catch up on those. And do we have a treasurer's report? We do. Oh, good. So in our wetlands account, we have $14,406.57. Okay. Open space, we have $555.33. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the annual budget, we have $1,364.70. Remember when we had like $270,000 or something? Yeah. 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 And then, and then we bought yeah. land I guess and we got something paid more. lawyers and mm -hmm. paid more lawyers. <coughs> and What's that on Carter Street, that piece? <laughs> Carter Street and for Malpisca uh, oh. <laughs> is where oh, most of, yeah. 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 That was a big parcel wasn't it yeah it was over 100 acres, acres. Yeah. yep um yeah well that that was easy to spend the money on the lawyers the carter street piece we did the cpa application wrong and didn't plan on lawyers fees out of that Oops. so yeah yep that was an expensive learning moment yeah <laughs> <laughs> won't do that again huh right mm. um but I did confirm with June that we will be getting, so not all of the 50,000 for Salon Pomo. Right. Um, so we will get transferred on July 1st. Uh, this year we will get, let's see, $27,712 into our open space account. Awesome. We should all go and buy lottery tickets and maybe we win the big one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> And then move out of Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um, all right. Excellent. Well, thank you. Yeah, I was wondering. I knew there was money floating around. I wasn't yep. sure when we were getting that. Yep. So okay. um, it does have to be appropriated at town meeting, and then right. we'll get it for FY25. So we don't get the full 50 anymore? Year. We don't this year yeah. because, remember, we borrowed against it. Oh, that's right. That's it. right. Yep. Okay. For t to make... Uh, the lower property Mount Pisgah happen. Mm, so, okay. yes, we have to pay our debt. <coughs> mm. um, Ouch. Yeah. Oh, I think that was a good move. At the oh, end yeah. Of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was well worth it. Um, awesome. Bills and forms. Bills and forms. No bills. No bills. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> no bills. We're off to a good start. I know. <laughs> Unless somebody wants to request reimbursement for Kestrel boxes and Bluebird boxes and <laughs> <laughs> not to put you on the spot or anything. But <laughs> I can just I can just read my little report on that. <laughs> I don't know. I, since you introduced it, <laughs> did I bring it? There it is. I had, had to print in large print because I'm so tired. <laughs> Gracie's been off school all week. Guess oh, what? Oh, man. Um, so... Um, Kestrel boxes and bluebird boxes uh, between about April 1st and today, Walter. Yeah, thank, thank you. <laughs> I, <laughs> I shut that all the time. <laughs> um, Walter, with a little help from me, assembled and installed nearly 20 bluebird houses in Burma. Nice. Wow. He refurbished uh, half a dozen <coughs> more and um, they needed repair, cleaning because the mice get in them sometimes, or one had simply gone missing, except we found the roof. We mm -hmm. to, just to clarify something, every single house I looked at that wasn't in somebody's front yard was full. It was just cluttered with mice, and it's just foul, you know, they're foul. I don't yeah. Know, yeah. Like, like mm -hmm. take them and lay them down and wash them out with bleach water and stuff and lay them in the sun, and I think they're reusable. I don't think birds have a sense of smell that much in right it, no. no 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 olfactory but nerves it's pretty bad you know yeah yeah well walter has, has installed these houses uh, at, for instance cordelia's farm the town shared gardens near river bridge um 
South Cemetery, and when I came home from Arnold Arboretum today, there was a bluebird perched on one of the new houses. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Nice. And the other house had a bird perched on it, and I think that was also a bluebird, but it was a little too far away to be. Where was it? At, at the cemetery. Oh. We did the two, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, that quick. <laughs> They're looking that's for places awesome. to live. Yeah, um, yeah and uh, that where we put the new fence, Horseshoe Pond, mm -hmm. um, Clover Hill Equestrian Center got two bluebird houses. Awesome. I'll be up there Saturday and take a look. See. Anyway, and so on. Those aren't the only sites, but those are some of the places. And um, we're talking about how, how to create a map of of the all these locations for all of these houses so we can kind of keep track we know when to go clean them out and and where to find them and so on uh, but the the inspiration and the momentum was generated by Walter clearly yep uh, I was tagging along and and being a pain in the neck I'm sure <laughs> and then Maddie recruited several other birding enthusiasts and raised a 15-foot pole in the field behind the highway barn near Ross Dam uh, to hold a kestrel nesting box and tomorrow we're going to hopefully raise a second one. Excellent. Oh, so excellent. my question is, how do you clean those out? The kestrel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we said we have Maddie sh shimmy up the hole. Yeah, they have a, 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 a hinge top, so yeah. We yep. Can okay. Yep. <laughs> I, have, I have such a ladder. How, how yeah, tall perfect. are the poles? <laughs> <laughs> yep, so they're 15 foot tall poles. Uh, we just simple. sickened it three feet into the ground, so yeah. it's only 12 feet up there yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. That's not <laughs> horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, awesome. Anyway. So, so that, 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 I mean, Walter may have more to add. Okay, uh, so we did spend a little money, uh, but we wanted to keep the momentum going. Uh, the biggest issue was trying to find used pipe and other scrap pieces of that we could actually mount these things to, because you can't just lay them on the ground. Right, mm. <laughs> that is true. So I spent a little money on that. But we'll right. bring you Bill next time. We should, yeah. I mean, he, he went down to Lowe's and got a bunch of pipes and stuff. That's what we had. So yeah. without that, and then some fittings, and um, <clears throat> that way it kind of had a uniformity to them, rather than this size pipe and that size pipe and mounted this way and that way. So sure. yeah. can systematically. Um, get at it but I see eventually we get going to get this mapped out and uh, we ought to have a good map and then actually try and get uh, people involved in adopting a birdhouse or something and monitoring it and we write all the proof and, and provide them directions replete with dates to go look at it or how to monitor it and what to look at and all that type of yeah. stuff and it might mm -hmm. get kids people more interested in the results of what we're trying to do here. Uh, may I add a little something to that? Um, last year and and then two years prior to that, I went to Gracie's school with birdhouse kits, and each child was was provided a kit and coaching to build their own birdhouse. The kids learned to use glue. They learned to drive a nail. Sometimes they'd have to rest between you know, yeah, because <laughs> they never held a hammer. Yeah. Right. But but why couldn't the conservation commission host a birdhouse building mm -hmm. thing? But yeah, for right kids, idea. focused on kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think so. That would be great. I, I don't know. I don't know if that if there's interest in that. I'd be more than happy to I'd be happy. mill the lumber and yeah, I have be, a shop. Yeah. And I'd walk be happy to help teach. Yeah. I mean, I'm a carpenter, so yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a, when forward, when so. Rick comes in later. Let's run it by them too. Oh yeah, why not um, partnership? Yeah, that would be I would that would be the, awesome. Well, Maddie's the most authentic birder here, yeah. I think. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, she I, was proposing point, a kiss. At home. this point, we should probably be planning for getting houses up in October, November, right? Or right. not? So we still have a little bit more time to do get, it this year. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I would say probably to the end of the month, maybe. First okay. week of May. Yeah. Um, and if they have a second clutch, they might look for a different yeah. house too. So this still We really have to come up with a good baffle because the, the, the rodent problem is really bad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I price baffles are they're anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. The pre-made ones. Yeah. Not yeah. buying yeah. them. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. no. But Walter's yeah. Walter's come up with a couple of real clever designs that I think might work. So. Nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 
All right. Well, whatever we can do to help with that, we can have a, a baffle building day. Nice. So there's the 15 foot pole in the ground with the exactly. house mounted. Yep. Just the kestrel. Yeah. Yep. That's the kestrel box. Fly. Yeah. And we're going to pull one in the middle of the yeah. soccer where, field. Where, where, where is right. that? <laughs> This well, is the one behind the highway barn. <laughs> Dr. Oh, John Bumack cool. yeah. that tonight. Yep. He'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bluebird house, right? No, Castro. Castro. Oh, that's okay. That's a little yeah. high for a bluebird <laughs> box. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those usually only need to be out like five or six feet up. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We've got a bunch of them in the community. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Do you have bluebirds in them? Oh, yeah. What do you nice. climb a ladder yep. to get up there to I clean it? I threw in my backyard. Well, that's what yeah. bluebirds in the woods. Nice. They're so pretty. <laughs> and there was a time where they were, you just never saw them when yeah, before they you know, recovered after the whole DDT Did thing. So. Don't right. right. Yeah, no, it's, it's oh, we'll wonderful, to see, wonderful to see them again. Yeah, right. yeah. Tomorrow. yeah. I don't think I even saw them. I don't think I even saw one until I was in my 20s. I don't know if he's still he, doing it. Uh, yeah, I, Gene Mitchell's son he, was he, he, he did a masterful boy. job of planning this out. Yeah. 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 Something gets into it all the time. And all right. All right. Not yes. Out. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. Nothing going on at Maple. Oh, did nothing going on at Maplewood? But did you ever hear back from Judy about? Nope. Nope. And so I guess, so our appointment for uh, the notice of intent for 39 Story Hill Road has been postponed because DEP has still not issued a file number for that project. Mm, excellent. Yep. So mm. DEP's a little, little behind on things. So I did email Judy. We did. So last week we received a uh, email that somebody was clearing trees along a wetland. And this is over Marlboro Ro Road, Lot B River Road. So basically, so the lot there. that's on the corner of Marlboro Road and River yeah. Road. Yeah. Oh. That, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen? I he's, didn't he's, notice, but Yeah. He's clearing a whole bunch of trees. Um, I don't know that he doesn't live there though anymore, does he? I thought. I think he does. I. I, I, I don't know. I feel like it transferred, but it never went on the market. Oh. I don't know. I feel like but I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I feel like I saw different people there or something. Yeah. I never see anybody there, so. Mm -hmm. Um, that's interesting. It, did you see it, Maddie? Or? So I went and took some photos. Um, so if you want to look at the I photos. Mean, is it I, a problem or not? Well, no. so DEP, remember, has the superseding oh, order of conditions right. on this. So oh, we okay. notified them. And, yeah, so you, did you, you said you re-emailed Judith? Yeah, so I uh, cut up. I re -mailed, e emailed her today, just being like, hey, any word? But during the first email, she was on vacation, so. Right. And it just seems like the EP is just behind on everything. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one where he got to cross the mm. wetlands, right? Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, so we'll see what she says. Mm -hmm. Sorry, take away. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Um, Just so I know, so Marlboro Road, River Road, Marlboro, where's the house? So it's pretty much right on the corner. If you're looking down Marlboro Road, standing on River Road. To the left. That left-hand left corner. Right on the left arm? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's the one, remember, where they tied into Hudson Sewerage? Oh, excuse me. Oh, so I'm yeah. mixed up. I'm thinking yeah. of Bridge Road. That's why I was confused. Oh. Yeah, Mar right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yep. I was That's... I yeah, say, I get you'll remember yes. that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right where it yeah. runs into Chapin Road, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yep. I'm just making sure I got it. I'm just I'm doing all this on Google Maps, so I have some kind of idea. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yep. We all always sit here like, where was that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Right on top of the DEP number, huh? <laughs> So the fact that the sign still posted makes me think that they have not received an order of con uh, um, certificate of compliance yep, yet. Yep, and all their still fence is still up too. So yep. I think you're right. Yep. But um, last time DEP let us know when they were going to remove some trees. Right. So I'm assuming they would have let us know. They right. knew that they were removing yep. trees again. <laughs> yep. So. Uh, all right. Well, we'll keep an eye. At, keep. We'll keep. If we don't hear from her today's Wednesday, if we don't hear from her by the end of the week, um, I'll email if you want. Okay. 
<laughs> Maddie does the nice emails. I do the mean emails. <laughs> I understand how that goes. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Bad cop, cop. Yeah. Yeah. Highland Ridge, the most recent monitoring report. It looks like they, um, so the, the sod that they laid is starting to grow. So that's good. Mm. And the, it looks like they properly repaired the rills that were happening in the swale. But there's still a boatload of water down here, but I don't know that there's anything we can do about that. I thought they made a big stink about like the sod not being like it wouldn't work how'd they end up there i don't remember them well when we're talking about different uh, different ways to mm -hmm. fix it they didn't want to do the sod mm -hmm. um, they they said i don't even know that they ever said why they didn't want to do the sod. they, did they didn't want to spend the money yeah they didn't want to yeah. spend the money yeah. but they came up with some other reason why right. they weren't going to do it right. i don't remember them moving forward with that Oh, yeah, that's why we finally lifted the stock Okay, work I think order. I missed that meeting. Oh, okay. I think I wasn't mm. here for some reason. Yep. Um, yeah, so they went ahead and laid sod, and um, it looks better. Um, I'm going to go over there for a while. Okay. Cool. It was so wet uh, a few days ago, I thought about it. It's if you step on it, it just goes, shh, and then you just ruined whatever it's trying to grow. So right. Yeah. It's yep. been dry for a couple of days. Yeah. I mean, you can see it's still pretty thin mm -hmm. all around where they didn't sod. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll keep an eye on it and keep going. Do you know if they've closed on the last of the houses? Units? No, there's, uh, they put the two rentals on the market. Oh, right. I heard so, that. Uh, yeah. They're still building mm -hmm. open houses. Um, I don't think they've closed. There's still a couple that they're still working Right. Um, so, okay. Dave Mollick is a, yeah. um, well, there were two houses listed. Right. So those are the two to, rental units. Uh, they were listed in the real estate transfers on Sunday. Okay. Are they still going to be rented out? No, so so they must have sold two units and then they've got two on the market. Yeah, um, I wasn't sure if they were selling to somebody else who was going to rent them out. I don't know. No, Not that it matters. Still listed as active for sale. So right. For mm -hmm. seven forty, so I can't imagine somebody's going to buy them both. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and do, which units are those? Thirteen and fifteen. Right. right. On. So if you drive in on Wheeler. Yeah. You pass Campbell. Yeah, it's on the right. Okay. As you go down the hill. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, awesome. And then River Road is in eight minutes. I wonder if that's them out there in the hall. Um. All right. So, well, why don't we take a few minutes um, and talk to Ethan? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What are you interested in this, Ethan? Um, well, I have been living in the community for going on 15 years now, and um, I've met Carolyn when she was visiting friends over there, and she mentioned the Conservation Commission, and I'm somebody who uses mm -hmm. trails and maintains the trails by uh, in Brewer Brook area a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I don't know, just Perfect. I want to help. Uh, you know, protect protect what we've got here in Berlin. How about the um, wetlands and you know, protecting land, open space? And Absolutely, yeah. How about water, you know, wetland protection? You ever read anything about it? Do you know anything about it at all? Um, a little bit, but yeah. not a whole lot. Um, I have, obviously, a background in building and stuff like that, so mm -hmm. I, I understand, you know, I can read plans and understand what builders are trying to do for the most part and also understand how they like to kind of just get stuff done sometimes and my job at this point is basically to tell them no mm -hmm. or to do it right because mm -hmm. i'm supervising these days so yeah. i've yeah. got a lot of experience with Good. telling mm -hmm. people what to do <laughs> so. um but i just uh, yeah i was talking with carolyn about it and it seemed like i might be a good a good fit okay. uh, yeah great mm -hmm. yeah so, um, anybody else have any other questions? 
No, excited to have you here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I was surprised. <laughs> when, it, when he said that he was interested, I'm like, okay, so here's, <laughs> please, <laughs> please go. <laughs> um, so trail work is what you're most interested in? Um, it's one of the things I'm most interested in, yeah. But, like, I, I'm defi I definitely care about protecting wetlands and natural resources in general, open spaces, you know, mm -hmm. just the whole, the whole thing, you yeah. know, especially like we're so densely packed in in the Northeast in general that, you know, we've got kind of a, a bit of a gem here in Berlin, I think, and it's important to, you know, to protect it and to, mm -hmm. you know, utilize it where we utilize it wisely. And um, yeah. I'm, I'm good at details and big picture kind of at the same time, like I can break stuff down and like I just... So I understand the overall overarching importance and also, you know, understand individual plights and uh, that, yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So, and I, I was very excited to, you know, Kyle definitely with his construction experience brought mm -hmm. um, yeah. some stuff. Hey guys. Hi. Come on in. Right. And he wasn't afraid to speak up, especially <laughs> to builders. He eats the words up at the store. Yeah, yeah, no, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> um, everybody knows everybody. Yeah. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a small town. Yeah, yeah. it's a small <laughs> town. Yeah. It's so refreshing. Um, <laughs> so, our 7 30. Do we want to talk real quick about voting on oh, yeah. the letter? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, good. And he's here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Julie, if you guys could all just sign in. Got it. Thank you. Um, so go ahead. So great news. The earmark for the rail trail came through. So now we are <coughs> able to pull our application for match funds from CPA. So what Tim Wheeler did ask that we um, write a letter from the Conservation Commission just kind of formally saying that we're pulling our request just so they have something for the record. So he asked that, you know, we vote on that. So um, I just wanted to, can I make the motion or? Yeah. Uh, anybody have any questions yeah. first? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, you, you know, I've expressed this before, but um, I, you know, I, first of all, I'm not sure why conservation is taking the lead in this, but nevertheless, maybe because I introduced an article 20 years ago that we do that, so we're doing it. And then another few years ago, I introduced it to liven it up again, and they snuck in and killed it. But uh, I mean, the, the um, a feasibility study. I've seen either on a um, what do you call those thumb drives or something, or there, there's been a great feasibility study done. The rail trail will go down the existing trail. This idea that people have, well, we'll sneak over to the aqueduct, or we'll go around this road. It's a rail trail. It's not a road trail, a street trail. And I think that we should be trying. That money go a long ways to getting that thing built. We should be going for engineering plans, number one. Number two, it kind of, you know, I had a negative feeling to begin with because there's a couple of other agencies in the town government here that they think that doing something is raising money to hire a consultant. Most of it is unnecessary. And I just, uh, I don't, is this absolutely necessary to go and get the funding for a detailed engineering study to begin going from Hudson to Coleman Road. Why don't we just do that? So this is what the state asked us to do. They asked us to do a detailed feasibility study mm -hmm. to address the issues on the area up to Coburn Road and also to look at, uh, when you look at the 2021 study that the state did, it didn't really confirm a path from Coburn Road to the Clinton line. So they asked us to do this detailed feasibility study there's now the Mass Trails grant, which we've applied for. We'll probably get that. And then this earmark that we didn't even apply for, we just kind of kind of fell in our lap, um, is going to be the match funds for that. All right. And we're and only and using a portion of the... The, um, the 100000 of the earmark, earmark 
for this. Yeah. So there is still a considerable amount of money that can go towards the next step, whatever that ends up being. Yeah. Okay. And also, <coughs> this study is not going to study alternate paths, like, you know, how people were talking about going mm -hmm. to the aqueducts and stuff. That's not what yeah. this is going to study. This is going to yeah. study the, the, rail path, trail. the rail trail path, at least up to Coburn Road. The other side of town, there's, you know, there's some different possibilities but it, it's, a, it's a common sense to me to take it to Colvin Road number one yes that's, that's and then the plan. once it's that's there the I mean we could even put a circle around our property there at that time but the second phase from Colvin Road up over the five corners over Willow Road and then on through that's a whole nother construction yes. that'll be more money going into that yes than the rest of Berlin and Hudson and Clinton put together. Yes. I mean, so that's, yep. that bridge is going to be, so, and it can be done. Yes. It all can be done. So that's the thing. And the we, state will help. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's, that's, this is the first step in getting the state to help. So, so the state is requiring this. Yeah, they asked us to do this. To as they're, a, not as a step, oh. they're not requiring it. They requested yeah, it. They, they asked as a step to toward yeah, to grant money. Correct. Yeah. So this is all being covered by earmarks and grant funding. Who who in the state did you talk to on that? Peter Sutton. Peter? Hmm. Yep. He's with um, DPW. D I mean, uh, Mass uh, Dot. Mass Dot. Okay. Who's the new place that took John Aggie's turn. I, I don't know yet. I've been talking to the, the grant person. So she was going to introduce me to the his replacement. So the grant, if we get a grant, will be from um, Sutton's agency. Where will that Mass Trails, from? yeah. It's yeah. I think it's, it, that might be a combination of Mass Dot and DCR. Okay. That Mass Trails group. So it's all covered by state funding. Yeah. So anyway, the request is to to write a letter to CPA to just say that we're pulling our request. Right. So I think the motion should be to pull the, the yeah. to so we have a an item on the warrant mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we would like to pass over that item. And so I think the motion tonight should be that we all agree that we are going to pass over the CPA request. And where is the other funding coming from instead of CPA? So we're going to pass over that. Yep, the, we have a state earmark for rail trail. So for we the will get trail. from the state. Mm -hmm. Correct. Oh, all right, yep. fine. Yep. 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 Yeah, there's no town funding. All right, on okay. This. Yep. So they want to do it? We'll do it. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> okay. yep. So Especially if they're going to help us pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah. If we're spending their money, yeah. <laughs> they want us to do. All we have to do is make some phone calls. Sure. Right. Yep. <laughs> so you need a motion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the motion would be to, um, what was the word you <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to, <laughs> yeah, to, pa to pass over pass the over CPA the warrant item. Okay, so moved. Second. Oh. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, all right, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. And so, um, can you draft that up? Yep. Awesome. Oh, great. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Wasn't even planning yeah. on that. <laughs> awesome. All right. Come on up. I need to make the walk. Yeah. <laughs> make the walk and sit in the hot seat. Did you get to sign in? I did not, Thank but you. I will. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm not Christos. Right. But, uh, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Yeah, my, I'm Mike Scott. He's not going to be here. Um, I live closer than he does. So um, <clears throat> a couple of us were out at River Road a few weeks ago. Um, they have received four proposals to clean up the slope. They've narrowed it to two contractors. I forwarded you the information. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you bothered to follow up with the town of Westboro, but um, one of them is a Westboro guy who's done work for and with the agent. The other one's out of Clinton. Um, Westboro is fire engineering. They do heavy site construction, but he also has a lot of earthwork. He's done remediation projects. He's done road building, so he's done slopes. The other guy's uh, level 10 land works. They're out of Clinton. He's more of a landscape guy, but he also does heavy construction. I don't know if he has any references. I've worked with both of them. They're both more than capable. Um, but if the commission or the town has had any headbutting or worse experiences with them, that's <laughs> what we wanted to find out. Otherwise, they will pick one and go forward yeah I'm not aware of either one of them really okay so okay so maybe if you have time give 
the commission a call. They work with this guy at a Westboro Friar regularly. Mm -hmm. I, I will try to get a reference for the other guy. Again, I, we're not asking you to choose. We're just I'm here just to say, okay, these guys are like you all didn't throw up or anything. So that's a sign <laughs> that you haven't been fighting them. Um, I, we did look into the company that's working for the the other project you said that we didn't mm -hmm. um, and did a little research. We did not solicit a proposal for them, which is not to say they're not capable. It's just yep. a little research. So um, the hope is if they are signed up tomorrow or Friday, at least one of them could be at least probably mobilize some stuff next week or the week after. So the goal is to try to start in the next two weeks. I can't promise that because I'm not signing the contract. Sure. But one of them said he could start. He could even be out there next week. But realistically, it's probably two weeks. Okay. And that's really, they're going to start with cleaning up. So they're going to start with the tree work, get the trees down. Yep. And they're going to clean up the area where all the um, piles are, sort of on the left as you're looking at the slope. Mm -hmm. Get those sorted and then try to get themselves a work platform. Sure. So yep. that's what probably is going to happen. It's not going to be any major earthwork in the next three three to four weeks minimum. But at least get the equipment out there. Okay. Um, so I, I will, you know, that's where it's at. Um, if you do make want to make the effort, if not, I'm, we're just going to pick one. But again, nobody here was like, we don't, we know these people. And yeah, no, not nothing. No, and they're both local, so it's not a long trip. It's not like you know, they're they be available if there's an emergency. Sure. It's another consideration. Yep. You know, one's in Clinton, one's in Westboro. You can't get a whole lot closer. So. Right. You know. Um, um. And so when we met with you on the site, you said that not all of the proposals that you received were for exactly the same work yeah, are we these chose two? The two we chose the two that are the higher numbers with the more comprehensive proposals excellent and they, they know more, that they were higher they both had a better they spent more time out there yeah and they're not landscapers they're more site construction right. guys so the, the caveats are with all of this is they can probably be done in six weeks or less. I mean, with the heavy work. Yeah. The problem is they don't know what they're going to find, obviously. And sure. if they find something that delays, like if DEP needs to be involved, their prices don't include hauling certain things off because they don't anticipate finding certain things. So there's going to be some, you know, there's an allocation for unknowns. But if it turns into a complete mess out there, 10 feet down, then the whole thing will stop and the schedule will change. And right. Obviously and you'll let you us know. be informed. Yeah. But, so I'm not promising they'll be done in two months, but both felt like they could accomplish it if things went smoothly. Excellent. It's just they're both a little afraid of what might be lurking beneath. We're all a little afraid car of what's... Bodies <laughs> going, what's right? So th that's, those are the caveats. Right. I don't think it's anything like that. <clears throat> only um, knowing that it was a farm forever, that's the other consideration. Yeah, but it was only filled in five in years ago. Okay. So if you all know that that's t true, then that's... And that was one of their comments was I don't know what's out there from the last hundred years right but right it's easier to see right. now. It, I mean the the slope was just filled in right yeah. the, I mean yeah, they definitely that it was trees not recently too because the, you know there are large trees out there which have died recently yeah that indicates their stuff's been growing for a long time yeah but yeah so yeah. that so if that's the case it will go much more quickly yeah than, than yeah I I have definitely heard things like tree stumps and you know whether they're stumps or stumps I'm not right. sure right. Um, I also have heard some furniture. But yeah, I mean, a few refrigerators doesn't scare either of them. Right. Doesn't scare either of them. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's so mostly car bodies or drums. That's yeah. what everyone's yeah. worried yeah. about. So. I, I don't think, and if there's anything like that, it's only been five years. Um, it's not, you know, the old resting. Yeah. Which I don't know Ford what's better. truck. <laughs> <laughs> it might be more valuable. Yeah. Right. Um, um, yeah, it's just getting the scrap metal. If there's a bunch of that that cleaned up, that's what's gonna right. and part it out and whatnot. Yeah. So, anyways, that's the plan. Awesome. Um, and Chris will make that decision. I've already told him what I think. He just has to decide. Okay. The prices are close enough that I don't think that's going to be the factor. It's just going to be whatever. Excellent. All right. All right. So Andy. we will contact you as soon as we know the start date, which we're hoping is two weeks or less. Awesome. At least that's what I was told today. Anybody else have any comments or? No, it was when I noticed it really getting filled into a landscaping outfit sort of had it, and it was a stump dump basically. Okay. But then you'd see a refrigerator or a chair or something else in there, so I, I didn't watch it on a daily basis, so I don't know what else is in there. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. If it's organics, that's not the scary part. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, we'll I think know. we're good. We know. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. Thank you. And I think we can take you six minutes early. <laughs> so we're skipping so many Yes. We're, yeah.
I, I don't think that's real accurate. Yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey. Introduce Hi. yourselves Hi. for the record. I'm Julie Lee. I'm from Berlin Recreation. I'm John Glumack. I'm from Berlin, Usaka. Excellent. All right. And why are you here this evening? Right. <laughs> um, John, do you want to talk about it? Yeah. Um, so we, we're having a real hard time with our fields right now. I've put this together. Um, I only made three copies. Um, we're, um, we, we can't play on the fields right now. Um, we lost a lot of grass over the last couple of years, and we overseeded in the fall. And um, it's just starting to come up. And because of the snow and the, and the rain, it's just been taking longer. And um, the games have started, the seasons have started, but we can't play games on that, this one particular field right now. What is it, muddy or why? It's, there's no grass on the back side of it, so right. it, would be, it would be muddy. Uh, and, and any grass that's growing now would just get right. uh, no chance for it to get So the grass is now. just germinating now? Yeah. yeah. Um, we're having a problem with other fields too, but we were able to move them behind the school and layer them on top of each other. So we have the five, six, and the three, four fields fine. But we're looking for somewhere to host a, a ninth and tenth grade team, which is new for us this year, and we want it to mm -hmm. be successful. So we don't want to uh, cancel games if we can. Um, we're looking for another location. Um, someone um, mentioned that it would be possible to maybe possible to use the field across from the old spooky world um no. julie for temporary no. temporary very temporary no i love you walter why do you say no it's conservation land it's field i i fought to buy that and danny tyler and bill wheeler fought to buy it it's i don't want it messed up and once you get a field in there all the cars all the it's an agricultural area it's a beautiful meadow down through there. I just spent a week cutting all the brush along the wall just to protect that. You know, I fought to protect that land. I don't want to see it manipulated, artificially manipulated. I mean, how many fields do you need? One. One. For how many for how many games? Uh, it would be two to four weeks. So I put it on the timetable that we, we would be done with it May 14th. How uh, so about a temporary oh, field baby. down where the golf driving range was? Work with those people, see so if you can get in there for a temporary field. They shouldn't object to that. It's a mess to begin with, where the golf driving range was or something. Do oh, the putt in place? Isn't that private land? Well, look into it. Oh, well, there's, a, there's a restriction on it. We the hold a restriction. They can't do anything else. Um, are they going to charge it down? I know the, pe the people that own it, and... Uh, you know, they're going to be in before us looking to put another house in there uh, between the existing houses, and we should talk with them a little bit. But I, I don't want to see that manipulated down there and traffic going in and out of there. I just spent down Well, there, there would be no cars on yeah. there. But then I, I would be more concerned about safety on the road there. It's a the wicked road. road. That, that would be my well, bigger concern. Well, we would concern. ask okay. for the, uh, the growing room to use their parking lot. Oh. You know, everybody looks at our land like, oh... I look at land to try and keep it from being manipulated, artificially manipulated, developed manip in any way possible. It can't be natural, agricultural, fine. Everybody, oh, here's conservation. Let's go build on that. Let's manipulate this. I'm against it. Find some other place. That's my feeling, and I hope the rest of you feel that way too. And I mean, I think having that land, I, <clears throat> everything I do on that, I think it's for future generations, for children, for kids. Do, that's a good place for kids to look at. These Take them down and walk along soccer. the river. Just these, as good as playing soccer. These are ball. the town's kids playing soccer. Huh? These are the town's kids playing soccer. Well, they, the town kids can walk down and go fishing in the brook. I mean, they, do, they don't have to have an organized, manipulated activity to manage and herd these kids around. Find another field to do it. Look into that thing. I think you've got to look into the thing, and uh, I highly recommend you look into the driving ring. Just sitting there idle. Nothing can be done with it. Matter of fact, maybe you can't put the field in there, depending on how right. much So, So what would you need to do <coughs> to the existing, uh, the existing area other than paint lines? Um, the only 
uh, I put on the bottom of the summary um, the only things I saw that we would need is possibly mow it a few times a s the small 110 yard by 70 yard area we would have to mow it a few times we would have to paint lines a few times and then um, just extra foot traffic for a couple weeks right and it's no bl everyone's bringing their own chairs mm -hmm. parking at the growing room mm -hmm. when you said paint lines is that limestone no, paint it's line. paint. It's uh, field paint. Is that? Uh, I assume it's biodegradable. Uh -huh. It's plastic. Well, you Good. could definitely get biodegradable paint. How long sure. is temporary? What do you What do you want? It's three games. Huh? It's three, three games. And then, uh, so temporary. I mean, uh, is this going to go on year after year after year? Is this going to be a nope. permanent thing? No, so hopefully with the um, CPA project going for town floor, those fields are going to, and South Commons are getting an, a complete overhaul. So those fields will be in great working order. So moving forward, we have a maintenance plan in place for mm -hmm. those fields, but we just need them. I mean, right now the fields are like, mm -hmm. even on the You know, I, I, I mean, I'm coming from a little old fashioned place. You know me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, I played in that field. I can remember yeah. playing in that field. Yeah, you play soccer. We had to wait until it was mowed and hayed. Mm -hmm. And then we put down rocks for our bases. Mm -hmm. And we had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. Then well, we, we, when I was in grammar school, we played down behind the old town offices in that field. I mean, this I. <sighs> but Walter, that's what these kids want to do too. It's just a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So this isn't like a professional. No, I'm talking both yeah. about that. And is how much money are you going to re rebuild those fields for? It's four hundred thousand, I heard. Three hundred thousand. No, Three hundred thousand. But the, most of that is the irrigation yeah. that's being installed to keep the grass Correct. from getting into the shape that it's in now. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, so, you just throw money at it. So you want to go down to the Tyler Field, that sacred area. <laughs> Where you just never play. had development on it. Where I just cleaned it up by hand, and we're going to burn the brush. I used to I used to cultivate corn by horse in those fields. I know those fields <laughs> well. There's a lot of arrowheads in those fields. And it's just how are we going to? What if they don't want to get out of it? What, what, we got a guy that. Well, we have no interest in being there. There's no parking. There's yeah, no I was going to say, it's a terrible it's location. It's terrible. For yeah. Yeah. There's someone to hay those fields to keep them down. I'd hate to drive that guy away because if he does, mm -hmm. and we can't keep those fields m mowed and, and manicured, we're done. You guys get out of there and it's just going to grow up into a, all the swamp. Uh, I mean, yeah, you've got to remember the other side of this coin here. We've got. We're lucky to have someone get in there 100%. and man manicure those fields. Yep. And the same with down by the community gardens. And to, to go in and fool around with them and interfere with that guy, and he's going to say, the hell with it. You might not come over. I'd hate to lose them. There are other... Yeah, I, I, under, I, I understand. I also... the the. I understand your overarching concern, 100%. I the recreation department has come to us hat in hand asking for two months yeah mm -hmm. three, 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 games. three games three weeks it looks like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um well, and a little bit of prep time though on top uh how, what do you mean we to prepare the space for the game yeah, yeah so the first game wouldn't be till may 5th Oh, it's not this, it says April 20th, no? No, we're going to use Hillside for that okay. first. We, we spoke with them over there. Because we didn't, we, we wanted to thoughtfully do this with, because we know it's conservation land. So, but Hillside, we were only able to use certain dates on. So mm. we pulled those out. Um, and so there's really only three games, the 5th, the 12th, and the... Where do you, are you talking down <laughs> near the river? Or where, where were the... Where right, well, that, that actually was another question. So... On the property, mm -hmm. where <coughs> would the field be located? So I went down there today, so we were looking for flat-ish, um, you know. So up where the river is is not ideal because it's it's not f the flattest part. Up toward the road? No, up toward the, well, it's, so there's the road and then there's the water. The sort of that middle area seems to be the best, the flattest. 
it's not the best grass but right now you can't really tell really up from down with grass because of new growth coming up um, even though I've looked at a lot of grass lately <laughs> um, <laughs> this whole process um, but not <coughs> toward where you must have cleared along I saw the road someone da no definitely not the road closer to the middle road and then the water I know what you're doing yeah okay more middle that's what, saved us the from, that's what saved us from getting a development that was going to go in there be the core engineers considered a wetland as a floodplain area right in, in, right in the middle water. yeah right. uh, mm -hmm. was it dry today yeah All right. that, I mean, dry. Uh, good yeah what if i call the owners of that property and say that they could do it on that golf driving driving range it's flat. It's flat. Huh? Right? It's flat. Yeah, it's flat. Actually, it's, it's dry. Better, it's quite high a parking and dry. situation. It was Definitely, it's better parking. Yeah, I would say if Walter could help you with that, that would be a better location. It seems for like you guys. a junkyard. How do we share? Sure, there's no like metal pieces. Just oh, like listen, listen, no, listen. It's a field. It's a field. The, 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 the you can mow it today. It was. It was a driving range, right? So the nothing was range. on it except for golf balls. There's a container right in the middle of it. It's not in the middle. It's on the edge. All right. And that's where the rental was or whatever but it, all the land behind it is all part of that pe that property okay it, it was mowed constantly i don't know what right Could, um what yeah it was yeah yeah yeah. 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 yeah yeah up until a few years ago mm -hmm. yeah I mean, um, that, that would be, I think, a better, safer place to use if, if you can get it. But but at the same time, given their timeline, do we want to vote on this as a backup? I Yes. I think that's mm -hmm. the right thing to do so that they can... So where would people park if they use a property yeah. that they just talked about? At the daycare center? Or, I mean, but if they're talking about the... There's parking even at the... Well, not much, for, but for, but ti right. for the Tyler Farm. Yeah, for that oh, one. For this field, they're... The daycare they're center. looking at the daycare center yeah. right you're gonna get people to park at the daycare center and walk how are they gonna get from there down across the but they're gonna walk around the project across the stone culvert that's on the brook and then <coughs> up into that field or are they gonna come out walk down River Road to get in there no Chief yeah. Shiner said not River Road he said you go right through Right through so the parking lot yeah. at River Bridge, and there is an entrance right. there that they keep ma that River Bridge maintains and mows. Yeah, I walked it today. You, you, uh, oh, I thought I heard you say the um, school, the little. Um, oh, you mean the autism center? Were you talking about? No, no, no. Street? What's the center? This little school for the kids every the day. The growing room. The growing, the growing room. room. Yeah. Oh, you're not talking about that. Yes, we are. are. So you're going to talk about that, which is up near the road. Yes. And then from there, they're going to walk down around. Yep. And down across through the meadow. Yeah, nice. And there's pretty. only there's an old stone culvert there. And uh, get across and walk up across the field to play ball. Yeah, he's an athlete. And they're going to stand <laughs> up and carry their chairs. Oh, I yes. think you oh, really want to look We're used to this. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've walked pretty far yeah. for these things. All right, well, you know, I yep. mean, if it isn't somebody wanting to put a tower up on our conservation land, somebody wants to put a temporary field, yeah. you know, you, this is to me this land is sacred everything in the world being over manipulated and over developed and all played with i'm looking at conservation there's uh um kill deers in that field meadow locks there's and kill deers in the soccer fields them. we play in right now that we don't affect them do they nest there they nest all over the school grounds and when they do we put a cone around them and no one goes near it so if you notice to kill deer is in the field, we'll put a corner around them. All right, listen, I'm sorry. I mean, you can vote whatever you want, but I don't want to see anybody going in and using conservation land. It's all I work on. It's the only reason I'm on here. And that's the only, the most important thing we can do. We're not the, I mean, getting into this rail trail thing, I just wonder if it's in our domain, but we don't, we're not here to have organized team sports on our property. No, but we are here as part of the community, mm -hmm. and if mm -hmm. the community needs our help for a month, I, I, I personally have no problem with it. Especially if it's for the town's kids, you know. I mean, I remember years ago there was like a, like a club team that wanted to come in. That was a different story. This is yeah. like our town's kids. Like, right. you know, you were just saying you used to play in that field. These kids should be allowed to play in that field too. 
Do we anticipate so, any like permanent or long term damage? I mean, I can't imagine. All right, you go, whoever, if we do this, Carolyn, you call the people that are mowing that and make sure they're coming back and mowing if next year. If you give me their contact okay, number, I will, I, will, I will absolutely do that. Because I don't want to lose that, and I don't want to see, well, you did it last year, we'll do it next year. No, 100%. That's an open 100%. If I didn't work on that, we wouldn't have that. You understand that? There'd be four houses along there. I stepped in it, got a good guy in Berlin with a lot of power, and we prevented that, and we bought it. For conservation. I remember. Yeah. Not you. I was there. Not you. Right. Right. I did. So how much? If would the you houses have to were there, change you wouldn't have anything anywhere. down there? Would you have to do That's any true. more? That's nope, true. No. You would just have, to, would mark just have to mark the fields. Yeah. Right. And it would not be permanent. No, very temporary. We want to be out of there. As right. We, we want everybody. Our, our, the South Commons is a much more ideal situation mm -hmm. for families right. and <coughs> parking and safety. Yep. And there's yeah. playground. There's all that there. We want to be out of there. But we're just stuck right now. Those fields are just unplayable. And if yeah. somebody, you know, something happens where somebody gets hurt because we, cause we opened up those fields, that's, right. that's not a good situation. God, how did we I mean, I think we could, we could stipulate that this is a one-time yep. thing. Yep, mm -hmm. 100%. Yep, right. It's an emergency. Maybe that's not the right word. <laughs> well, I think it's... Mm. Yeah. Extenuating circumstances? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a, yeah. And you I also mean, said it's the first time the high school girls, you've had a high school girls team? And boys. And boys. Which yeah. is awesome. Like, I yeah, mean, right. my, the, my kids never had that I one. Know, right? It's yeah. awesome. Right? Isn't that cool? Yeah. And I think we should, we could also stipulate that they would have to fix any damage that might be Yeah, just be any done. cleanup and... I think yeah, that, yeah. that um, you add into that, if Walter cannot get that other field available to right. be used temporarily, they go here but that yeah. comes first yeah. if I can line that up they go there and when they're done you know yep. no cars we don't want right. people driving down in we there. ask the community Everything to help us out with saving open space yeah. all the time right yep. let's let's help and them out when they the ask us and it is a criticism that the land some people feel the land is not being used that it's just there right Mm -hmm. I was going to say that too. You bring a bunch of kids down there with their families, and then they'll they'll, they'll appreciate it, right? Yeah, right. I was down there. Maybe the they just. I've never been on that parcel. Of and home. maybe they'll some of them will hang out and go fishing in the river right. after a game. Right. Exactly. See, there's good things, Walter, to come from the land that we save. All right. I make a motion to allow uh, Berlin Youth Soccer to use the what do we call it, Tyler? Fe Tyler, Tyler Field. Field. Tyler Field. Um, through, do we want to say the end of May? May 12th? Um, if Walter cannot get the. Uh, Put it in writing on that. Oh, the motion. Okay, the, you say yeah, the motion. Yeah, this is for the motion. Um, if Walter cannot get the. Go see, old golf range? The, yeah, the, yeah, the golf driving range. range. The old driving right. range property for use. Mm -hmm. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. Thank you. We will, we will, so when when do you think you'll hear on that? I'll get on it tomorrow. Okay. Yep. You know, oh, so I'll, get get I'll, hear them, I'll hear, know tomorrow, but within a couple days. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Thank you, guys. We yeah. appreciate yeah. this. That is awesome that you have a high school team. Yeah. I know, right? That is really, really cool. Girls and boys. Yeah. The girls we can probably write beat the boys. boys. <laughs> 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 we have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Julie. Yeah. Thanks. We can write an order of conditions and then give them a um, COC. You're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I should have put in there if they come and help me cut the rest of the brush around the field. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's got boys. <laughs> uh, although her daughter could probably run circles around them. <laughs> All right, Brian. Look at us being on time. Crazy. I know. Are they over? <laughs> <coughs> it's kind of weird being in an empty room. I know. <laughs> Indeed it is. <laughs> I was Especially with you and an empty room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I was in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just here to um, request an extension on the order of conditions for another year for Highland Ridge. And do you need a whole year? With the weather we've been having? I know. It's hard to say, but we yep. just figured we'd go, you know, hopefully we'd be done right you know, sooner than later well even though it's been a nuisance they they seem to after a while they caught on to the fact that when we tell them to do something they got to do it <laughs> and um it's been a, a little victim of circumstances some of the problems that they've had are virtually all the problems i guess and um as long as they can you know, i mean we're still holding the reins on that thing so i don't see any problem with it um, I just have a question about yep. what's happening with the water in the middle of the swale. What, what's the long-term plan for that? See at the bottom of the oh, sod? Right here? Yeah. I mean, if we have to, we'll just continue with the sod. We're hoping that the grass, you know, starts, as the weather's getting better, hopefully it um, germinates and comes out. It's been hydro-seeded. Right. It is hydro-seeded. Because see how thin the grass is up at the top of the hill? Yeah, up in here. Yeah. Yeah. Is is rehydro seeding in the plan? I mean, it can be. We're going to fertilize, see what happens once the weather gets a little better. We need to yeah, yeah, I'm more. just wondering what the plan is. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's the plan. We're going to we're going to you know fertilize it, give it a couple weeks, see what happens, and um, if we got to rehydro seed or more sod or whatever we got to do. When did you we're seed it? The plan is to get grass uh, in there, right? Probably <laughs> depends on different areas. Probably a couple weeks ago to three weeks ago. Okay. So, you know, that's not been the greatest weather for anything. But, yeah. Right. Although but the sod's holding up great, which is. Yes. Yeah. We, we, yeah. yeah. The, I, that's I was one thing that really worked well. well right. Yeah. I, w I was <laughs> thrilled to be wrong about that. Right. I mean, just tell you. <laughs> It was kind of sketchy, you know. It was <laughs> sketchy, and yeah, you guys took a leap, and it worked out. Yeah, um, yeah really and good. I could be couldn't be happier. Yeah, yeah. Man, well, we talked about landscapers and everything. Well, we you know we've done it before, and so right. It's always been good. Yeah, milder winters, so right. Yeah. Um, and so I'm I'm a little nervous about the fertilizing, but I guess I guess until it creates an issue, we really can't say much about it. As far as oh. just so ex so fertilizing. Yeah. If it if it's done and it soaks into the ground, that's mm -hmm. great. If it if you fertilize and it washes down the swale into the pond, right? Especially repeatedly. You know, and then right. releases into the like too much fertilizer is a bad thing, right? So, um, but we don't use too much, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, so, I'm just, yeah, um, but yeah, um, it's the association doing all that lawn maintenance now. We don't really have a okay. So, has the association take the homeowners association taken over the property? No, they have not, no, okay. So which association is? So it's actually the management company, I should say. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they do all that now. Excellent. And there's mm -hmm. two properties left? Yes, yep, 13 and 15. Mm -hmm. Wheeler. So everything is built that's going to be built, right? Correct. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's been for a while. Yeah. Um, all right. I ask a question. You may. Uh, have you done any silt fence removal yet? From the member we uh, we did that upper section we talked yeah, about. Okay, okay. And then we did behind the clubhouse area. Okay. Coming up, there was some still left in the back of um, Campbell. Mm -hmm. And then right in front of the um, uh, the leach field. Yeah, there was nothing going on there. No, that's all been stabilized yeah. for yeah. a while. Yeah. So. Oh, I'd um, like to stop by tomorrow, nine fifteen ish. Yeah, you want me to meet you out there? I can. Uh, I, I wanted to also look at my calendar, make sure. Make sure that. Know. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that should be. Uh, I yeah. At ten thirty, with Bob Blair. Okay. Yeah. So, nine fifteen. You say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um. Yeah. All right. I look forward to seeing what's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Hopefully everything else gets stabilized and we can remove everything. And, yeah. you know. okay. uh, anybody else have anything? So this would be for one year. Right? Yep. Somebody want to make a motion? I will make a motion to extend the order of conditions for until April 19th, 2025 for the homes at Highland Ridge. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All that was the night Paul Revere rode around, you know, when the British came. And there April was a 19th, the famous to make April sure 19th. You know, attack you. Yes. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> that doesn't sound familiar. Huh? I don't think I knew that. 19th of April in 75, hardly a man is now alive. We remember that famous day in the year. Hmm. Can I go back to history class, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or English class, because that was a poem. So I was <laughs> are, we, are we giving him a copy? To yeah. Okay. Yep, we're going right. to sign it. Maddie's going to. Oh, right now? Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah right. hang up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, and then just a few more things to discuss, and we're good. Mm -hmm. yep. You want it all? Yes, sir. Thank you. I keep forgetting my pen. I'm not bringing my bag of stuff. I know. I, I traveled light tonight. I didn't bring my whole bag. Thank you. You never know. Yeah, I know. You know it never knows. It's because it came upstairs. It was like it was yeah. a little wall there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Kick him under the table. Hmm? Kick him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read a sign oh, signature. Do you want my glass? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> I do that too. Try to write something that like, you don't feel like putting your glasses on yeah. halfway through. You're like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> we did. The, I don't know if anybody else has had epic pine cones this year. Oh my god! Oh. Yes, there was a pine cone yeah. year for sure. It's one of those years. Yeah. So we apparently they do that periodically. Yeah. yeah. It's yep. not I just never, happens like I've never seen anything like this. It's no. I was just say it's happened like twice since we've owned our home in like the last fifteen years. Yeah. Yep. Last summer I remember sitting looking up at the tops of the pine trees, mm -hmm. seeing all the pine cones and yep. so <coughs> most of them came down. Yep. Mm -hmm. They did for sure. <laughs> on my front lawn on the front lawn yeah. just only. So Glenn took the leaf blower and blew them into three giant piles. <laughs> and then I took hooked up the garden cart to the back of the John Deere and with the snow shovel just yep, wow. filled it up <laughs> 11 times wow, wow. Jeez. <laughs> unbelievable Crazy. couldn't couldn't believe how many pine cones yeah, but it's like so much you use those for in your shop I, well <laughs> I was gonna say there might be some there's only the so many resin pine cone bowls you can make yeah. <laughs> Recent stuff, right? Christmas right. Stuff. Well, that's I, I and I thought about that as we were cleaning them up, and I'm like, I'm just moving them from the front yard to the backyard. I can still go get them. True. <laughs> yeah. They burned. You think it was the <laughs> they all the heavy rain amazing. we got last year? I don't. I mean, when do they set their cones? They set their cones when the yellow pollen, right? Yeah. When, and the yellow pollen wasn't that bad last year. Yeah, you're I remember. Right, yeah. Because I usually, oh. I don't put, I have to change out the screens on my porch. Mm -hmm. um, and I usually wait for the pollen yeah. to do that. The pollen didn't happen. And then, like in July, I was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I never put the screens in. <laughs> now, will you be in charge of recording it? Or do you want me to send it to uh, Cape Road in Menden, the original? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, probably send it to them, the okay. original, yeah. So I'll give you a copy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All good? All right. We're good. All right. Thank you. AJ, Thank you'll you. see you tomorrow morning. You're welcome. All right. What's left? Uh, so...
do, do. So Walter and I are up for renewal. Walter, you interested in doing another three years? Yep. Could be a devout conservation on here someplace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, How about you? And yes, I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, mine just magically got re up. Nobody. I know. <laughs> it never ended up on the agenda. <laughs> I think the only reason I was aware of it because it was me. <laughs> Eloise I'm asked wise, me. Geez. I know. It's crazy. Um, How are the terms? Hmm? Three. Three yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah, one, once you're in, you're in. They don't tell you when your term is over. Oh, so you just <laughs> rolls over just, and you're like, oh, I'm yeah. I'm in for another three. Yeah. Well, They're yeah, like, oh, you nice got to come sign this something. form. You got like you got voted back in. I was like, what, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> the board have to do something? I, oh, sure. Yeah. 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 They do it like behind closed doors. You don't need right. to like, you don't no, need to do it. it's actually an open meeting. Well, it's open meeting. They just don't tell you that you need, like, that it's going on. Right. So, mm. right. Yeah. You know. They just post it in the very fine print. Yeah. 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 It's like, oop. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so AJ, is the community garden your agenda item? Yeah, it is. Um, but uh, I think we're falling a little behind the eight ball. But I want to. I want to. Uh, it needs a little cleaning up. Some of the uh, last year's debris. It, what, you, what you wait for? People say, "Well, don't mow in May and all that." Ten, 10 days in a row above 50 degrees is probably good enough for the emergence of most of the insects that overwinter in the native plants that we put in. And there weren't that many anyway. A little cleanup around that. Uh, we've got some weeds coming up and a few cultivars that were left over residual in the soil in the part that we did last year for native plants. And I've been struggling with what to do for a ground cover there um, there are nice cultivar ground covers, but I think one of the one of the nicest um, native plant cult um, and you can use native R's, which are but um, uh, ground covers are strawberries. Well, the bunnies will love you. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> the insects like the flowers and the pollen and the nectar and so on. The birds like to eat the berries once they form and start to ripen and uh, they're pretty much maintenance free the only thing you, you have to do is make sure they're not crowding something else out right so you have to you have to prune a little bit i i think we need something in there to 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 uh not just have random weeds Yep. So no, where is it? Is this just the Pleasant Street guy? Yeah. 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 I know. I was confused for a minute. We should we should give that place a name. So we're because I, I, I was thinking it's, it's, it's Berlin Meadows. Berlin Meadows. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I think we should refer to it as Berlin okay. Meadows. Yeah. Because when you said community garden, I'm yeah. I, I know. Well, I was just reading this, yeah. but yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah, and that's probably what I what I hmm. wrote a couple of weeks ago when I suggested we talk about. It. Okay, so then we did about a third of that space in natives last year, and I would like to finish that up this year. Um, the daffodils finish the are the third that we did last the, year, no, or the, do the other two thirds? The other two thirds. It doesn't have to be a third, a third, and a third. But uh, you know, the the pilot was to do a small PC, see if we can get a handle on it. Looks like looks like it worked pretty good to me. Okay. And then uh, so now the uh, daffodils are in full, full bloom. I don't, I don't um, suggest that we simply disregard those plants, but rather dig them out, pot them up, and like we did last year, set them out uh, and put a sign that says, free plants, help yourself. Right. And they, every one of them disappeared. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I have enough natives, both pot, potted and seed starts, that I did um, 25 seed starts over winter, of native plants. Uh, they are slow getting started this year, but they're sprouted. Um, and I think it's enough to fill in there. Um, but it's prob that part probably isn't going to happen until June. The um, cleaning so out the, the rest of it? No, no, no. We, well, I mean, we can dig stuff out and get rid of all the grass that's grown the weeds in there. But um, it's really been a slow start for these overwinter plantings. 
you, but but these are these are wildflowers, wild plants, uh, native plants. They need stratification, so you need to get them in soil outdoors, exposed to the elements, for six to eight weeks of freeze thaw, freeze thaw. Some of them will sprout anyway, but a lot of them won't unless they they're stratified, and that that's the key and. So back in December, I started working on this, uh, and I've got 25 little nice. miniature greenhouses sprouting now. So um, that's awesome. Yeah. And um, do we want? Do, is there anything you feel like we should buy? Have you been to Garden in the Woods hmm? in Framingham? Oh, yeah. many times. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Uh, I, I, at this point, I to, I, I to think fill in or anything. I think what we need to do is see what what we can establish with the things that are seeds that are sprouting now, plus some things um, that were divided last fall and so on. I, I probably have twelve to fifteen pretty good plants there. Um, I got some rattlesnake masks. So, do you want to get rid of the daffodils altogether? Well. You know where they're over under the um, hydrangeas? I think that's the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. big bushy things. Yep. Places like that. We, that's okay. I don't want to get rid of those. I don't want to, you know, Judy's new, um, uh, I think it's a magnolia. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some other, I think there's some really nice specimen plants there. And, and that mix is fine. But I, I don't want the daffodils in the core of it where we're trying to establish um, the native natives. plantings. Yeah. I don't think they compete um, well. Well, I, I hear that. And, um, but the, given the visibility of it right in the center of town, there's another aspect of it, too. I mean, there's an opportunity for a very bright, and beautiful, and visible garden in the center of town. That's one of the reasons why I dug it out, as a matter of fact. And I appreciate this native thing. Is it going to... It's kind of away from wildlife, and the birds will be in there, but I mean, uh, we could establish another native plant garden or something, but I really think we got to have some color, and that should be an eye-catching place, people driving down, look at that, and see it. And there's nothing like yellow daffodils, and incidentally, those white daffodils, are the, if, imagine what it would be if those were yellow. Have you seen those? I haven't seen the white ones, yet, but the, the yellow ones in my yard are amazing. I know. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 daffodils I've ever seen, but they're all, you drive by and, oh, daffodils, if they were yellow, boom, it would hit you right in the eye. Um, yeah. There definitely got to be daffodils and some flowers getting up early in the spring. And uh, I, I'm not against native plants. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm all for it, but in that particular area, I mean, we just went through this. You know, I feel the way you feel. I feel that way about the Tyler Field, you know. Oh, well, we're in the community people. Well, we are, and that's mm -hmm. a community garden. And aesthetically, it should be, you know, really appealing and stand out. You get Jane Sawyer's beautiful garden on the other side of the street. Mm -hmm. That would be nice, people going down around here. It's becoming a major intersection. So I think we should go for the aesthetics emphasize the aesthetics over the native not get rid of the native but make sure it's aesthetically very attractive That's there, what I would there's like to some see. I have a, a particular book I'm thinking about right now that mixes the two and the idea with the with the natives or with the cultivars they're both What's fine. a cultivar a non-native plant you know, okay. like like daffodils right. and got it. zinnias. Oh, no, I know your language. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so there, there's some real nice mixes you can do um, that ensure. And we've done this in our gardens at home. You've done it, and maybe didn't realize, but you've got something blooming all year long. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And in the, the okay, listen. Let's we can't do. I want to see it. I'm visual. Okay. All okay. right, get the book. Let's lay the guide now. Okay. Let's go up there and look at a plan or present a plan or okay. get something going that we can look at. What, what's our time frame here? How it, it's a journey, not a destination. How um, <laughs> <laughs> well, well one, one of the problems with the daffodils right now is that it's so uh, overrun with grasses 
that have encroached and a few other plants that are uh, subtle but but bloom and so right, but w so we could move the daffodils around I, I, I think I think the only way to get rid of all those grasses is to pull everything out of there cover it with paper put a layer of AJ, we're going to make a plan on yeah. that, and okay. I'll get together half a dozen guys with yeah. strong backs, yeah. and uh, w w another big fit in town here looks pretty rugged. <laughs> 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 we'll get in there and get them a fork and put them to work, you know? Yeah. 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 And I, 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 I right, don't know how else to clean that out. Right. I, I agree. And, and, so, and I also agree about keeping the daffodils, mm -hmm. and, and having that be, I, I like the idea of mixing mm -hmm. the two. Because the, the goal of the native habitat, especially for the bees, with the bees there and, you know, all of, all of supporting nature, some of us has to be good con conservationists, you yeah, know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and, you know, supplying the, the birds and the bees with what they need. Right. Um, but at the same time, creating something attractive to look at. Right. But maybe, maybe that wasn't the right that. venue for that. But when I first saw it, it was... It was oh, it was a mess. Hodgepodge. It, it, was, it, it had been beautifully planted. Mm -hmm. I mean, Karen did it probably 15 years ago now. And... No. Then she moved, and we all did our best to try to, but, um... Gillis yep. donated a lot of plants initially. Yep. Mm -hmm. Helped out. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah and we just they, didn't have anybody oh, that focused on it. Beautiful we, stuff, too. One day a year, we would go down yeah. there and weed. Yeah. And yeah. then during COVID, we didn't even do that. Yeah. Right. Mm. It's, um, it's really... Yeah. The daffodils, uh, they're robust. They're going to grow anywhere. Yes. Yep, but, we can transplant them. But if them we want to keep it eye catching year right. round, I think we have to plant things that right. that so yeah, bloom. continually bloom. And and annuals and let's face it, some native plants are annuals. Mm -hmm. A lot of them once they start blooming, they bloom all summer. Right. But asters bloom right. late. Annuals are harder though because they need more water. Yeah. Right. The reason is perennials set D yeah. deep roots. And they're a lot more tolerant to any a, a short-term drought. Yep. I, I, I'm happy to work on a plan, Walter, and uh, bring it up next time. Anyway, I'll work we on it. I think we, st we still need to get in there at some point. Yep. And clean that up because the weeds have just... Well, you tell, us, you tell us what you want for a work day. Okay. And we'll coordinate it. Okay. How about this Sunday at 6 a.m.? <laughs> you know Have I don't. Fun. You know I don't do anything at six a.m. <laughs> That's why I'm able to be here at night. Let me let me let me work on a plan and we'll, we'll okay. figure something out. All right. And uh, I, I love daffodils. I've got them all over my yard, yeah. my gardens. Yep. Yep. They're mixed in with my natives. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I do have a suggested date because Agar Woods, the forest stewardship walk, got canceled by Gary. Oh, is that why it's not on here? Yeah. Like, I wrote it. I'm like, how come that's not on here? <laughs> oh, no. That's oh, a bummer. Boy. Yeah. What was that, Maddie? Uh, Gary can't do May 4th for oh. the Agar Woods or the Ball Hill Road uh, okay. walk. I did reply back to see if he had any dates available in May or June. He hasn't replied yet. Okay. I happened to, like, miss his message. He had messaged me, like, just a few days after he had said that date. Oh, worked. yeah. And I missed I it. To, on the email? So I, it was in my personal emails, I okay. guess, and I just kept them missing. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, that's a bummer. Yep. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, I have to shout out to Tom Perno. Oh, right. They yeah. carried all that. He, he and his wife carried all of that trash that had been dumped in the woods out to the parking lot. I happened to go up there to check on the signs, and here's all this stuff. I loaded up my truck and, truck and went to the transfer station today. Awesome. Well, thank you for well, doing your end thanks, of it. Thanks, Dom. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yep. The first set of signs were that we put up, no motorized vehicles, were taken down within how many days? 11 hours. <laughs> I put them up about <laughs> quarter to 7 in the morning. Uh, up on Ball Hill Road. They were Road. down at 6 o'clock that night. There's a piece of conservation land. Um, and, yeah, so 11 hours, huh? But the second set... Seem to they be. were still there um, Monday. That was up. That's when I picked up all that trash. 
saw a couple of kids on ATVs riding through yeah, that's, our that's area. Oh, wait, was that right? Yeah. Like the near Brewer Brook. It's not really quite Brewer Brook where we are, where the trails are, but right. there, but it's part of that area. Part of that property? Yeah. Hmm. We'll get you some signs. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are out, of, out of signs. We're out of signs. Well, we have some money. We can buy some more. Okay. Um, Speaking of that, we should talk about how to spend that money. Yes. Our budget money. Talk about what? We yes. have like $1,300, and it's we only have, what, a month and a half? Just two, two and a half well, months. To yeah, to the end of June. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well. Maybe. Maybe we can get reimbursed for those polls. Oh, absolutely. Oh, ab definitely bring in. How much uh, money is there in it? 1300. Do, do you still have the receipt? Yeah, Less than whatever the polls okay. were. Because we need to give that to June. Yeah. Yeah. About how much did you spend? And I don't know what Walter might have uh, contributed to spend. Not much. Nothing. Hmm. How That's, much? That was about $130. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So we still have quite a bit of money. We should try and do something meaningful with it, whether it's buying plants or doing more bird boxes or right. bridges well, or whatever. I know. So. Um, Ethan and I were definitely talking about some of the areas over at Brewer Brook. Yeah. And the bridges you did, they look great except for one, a tree fell on it. Mm. Um, that was a couple of years ago now. Was it really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, down at Brewer Brook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that needs to be fixed. And then the wet spot. So if you come in from the Pleasant Street parking lot, go in and go along the left hand side of the late oh, the I've pond seen, I know what you're talking about. the mm -hmm. this the air the wet area down at the back corner is worse than ever I mean because we've yeah, had so much water so much and like I, I I don't I walked down there walked through there once like a like a month ago and it was bad then and it's only probably gotten worse yeah you know people are you know the trails getting it's, know, it's getting wider it, muddy football field because yep. of how much people they're are trying to go around they're trying to go around yeah it doesn't work I mean, I, I've been I climbed over the wall, the stone. Yeah. Where, where, Glenn where, and where I went last about? weekend, and I climbed so over the stone wall, um, went through, but once all the so underbrush like my phone goes is, in, is that's the, not going to yeah, be possible. Yeah. kind of yeah. dammed area where the pond is, like right. it's kind of in this, this vicinity up here. Yeah. Yep. Um, I guess that's the west side or the northwest side. Yeah. Yes. It's just, it's, it's always been muddy, but it's gotten yeah. really, really bad lately. I'm kind of wondering if we don't want to do a reroute for some of that or something like that because I don't. It's too far down, and I don't see it ever drying out when we've got situations like this. And every spring, it's an absolute disaster. Yep. This one's just been especially bad. Yeah. But I don't know what the you know I don't know anything about the property lines in those areas really. So I wasn't don't worry about it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can go you just build your, the bridges and fair enough. The map? No. State That's land is public land. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, no, it's this. Right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, as long as it isn't private. So land. It's it's all well, that's the only thing. It's all public yeah. land. I haven't looked at it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. It's no problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Tell him um, I said so. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, it's especially bad up in this area, around that area. And then yeah. there's some more bad spots with some of the, the trails going through here that go, like, up towards. Uh, up towards the horse farm and all that. Right. There's some other problem spots in there. There's some, uh, you know, bridges and mitigation in there, but it's, <coughs> yeah, it needs a little more. Yeah. Basically, yep. and some of it just, it just, it just needs to be rerouted for sure. Yeah. Does um, it make sense to spend some money too to get an updated map since we bought some property? I don't know what it costs. We have. There's definitely an updated map. I'm waiting um, for it to come. He said he'd bring it here. I would have gone up and got it a month ago, oh. but it's updated. All the open spaces on it, a bunch of. Oh. Why do I have all that? Agree. Yeah, in Central Mass Regional Planning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yep, great. So I've got. Um, it's, I think it's right up to date. All our open spaces and. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I'll send. I'll email you. Right, they updated it after we, uh, at the last town meeting, we took a bunch of stuff that's already protected one way or another, but wasn't zoned conservation. Okay. There was like seven or eight parcels at last town meeting that we just switched over into conservation, and I, it's been updated since then. I think that was the motivation yeah. for him to yeah. I didn't update know they it. did that for us. Yeah. Hmm. That's good to know. One of the many things they do for the nice. town that's... Yeah. Matt, um, oh, 
I'm terrible. He, he's a great guy. He's very talented, and uh, he does the best maps. You know, I've had a, I've had it on. SVT and others do good maps, but mm -hmm. Mass Central Mass does a great job. Yep, great, awesome. Um, yeah, so if, see if you can order one, and if they charge us, they charge us. I don't think they will. We but have funding to do it. The planning board. I, I, I've never paid for them. I get plenty of them. Right. In fact, I'll call him up. If he isn't going to bring it, I'll go up and get it. And uh, he's got. I've got a big one like that, and then. 118 by so whatever right. they are. There was one on a board here for the longest time, too. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that was updated, also, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sewell did that one. Oh, who did that one? Yeah, that's the planning board, Sewell, I yeah. think. But, uh, yeah, the uh, central mass looks a lot better. I'll just... Uh, oh, geez, Charlie Ager's signature is on this. I know it. I know it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we just got a whole bunch of land over off Gates Pond Road, right? Well, two, two parcels. Yeah. yeah. But then the stuff that... What about the stuff that Mark? Town could not accept that. Why? Because the residents... There is some court action happening with the residents wanting the town to accept their roads Where's as this? public ways. Mm. Where's up this? at Green Acres, Mark, Mark's property up at the end of Dudley. Oh, oh I hadn't the, heard that. The, neighbor, the two neighborhoods, yes. And so because it abutted that and the town is in litigation with the, the people who own that, they didn't accept it. Is it potential in the future that we could get it, or if he offers it again? I think it's unbuildable. Yeah, which would be great. So right, but it'd be nice because we have there's that parcel that abuts my property, and that that abutted all that plus right. the two parcels. So that would be a, a pretty a significant nice, could, yeah connected. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We shouldn't let that fall off our radar. Yeah. Um, Earth Day. Is the last thing I believe. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. The conservation right. restriction review. Well, I do want to um. bring you up to speed <laughs> on a couple of other projects though before. But go ahead. Okay. okay. All right. So things. I think things are pretty well organized. You know. Um, I would like to see if we could get some of the Toronto kids to come and help on Earth Day. You know. Okay. Right. So. Good I'm luck. Approach <laughs> them again and. Uh, see if we can get some kids to sign up. Uh, let's see what it is. So um, Highland Wine and Spirits is doing the donation again this year. Yep. And <coughs> I thought it'd be a good idea <coughs> to split the five hundred dollars between two groups. So if you know people have any suggestions, um, one could be Link. <coughs> Maybe the uh, food pantry again. Um, the other thing I was thinking, like the board, of, uh, the Lions Club just did a seniors lunch, very well done. You know, yay, Dave. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very it was organized. Oh, did yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 And you know, it was just what it was. You know, people saying, "Oh, this is great! We get to see people we haven't seen in a long time." The food was really good, and you know, and um, another one might be um, the fishing derby. Oh yeah, right. Because I know they often solicit. Yeah, that right. actually would be nice. And I don't know if there's any other groups. I mean, we last year we gave to the um, nature's classroom. Right. That's a always a good a one. scholarship. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's always a really good one. Yeah. yeah. But I think splitting it between two groups might be nice too. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to remember what the cost of Nature's Classroom is. I know, a I bucks it was maybe? over five hundred dollars per kid. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's right. crazy. Because of, they got the five hundred dollars, and you know they had to add some more money to it. Wow. wow. Right. That's always so such I a don't good. Know, do we want to vote on who? Yeah, I don't know. An official vote. It's up to you guys. Well, I, I would love to put it towards Nature's Classroom. I think that's such a good program. Yes. Yeah, what was that? I said I would love to put it towards Nature's Classroom, but 
That's the one that, um, what's her name, does in town here? Yeah. No, it's the one that, do they still do it in sixth grade, I think? Nature's fifth classroom? Grade. Fifth, fifth grade. Fifth grade, grade yeah. Fifth yeah. Grade. yeah. It used um, to be sixth grade. I was going to say, I thought but it was sixth grade. But then they moved to Toronto. So it's That's by the right. school system? It's, yeah. a, it's, yeah. a, it's a class trip that both Berlin and Boylston do together mm -hmm. as a way, it, so it's a, it's a place down the Cape mm -hmm. that oh, they, they go. Now? Okay. That's where they went when Savannah did it. Anyway, oh, so that was a long Maine, time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that right. now that well, I was just saying Avery did a long time too, and a long time ago too, and no, I think it was Maine where back they then. Went. So right. Um, so there's a couple of different places, and they go and they spend the week. They do oh, yeah, outdoor yeah. Right. things, and it's also a way for the two town, the kids in the two towns, to get introduced yep. to each other pre-high school. Got yeah, it. I would like yep. to see it go to different groups. Okay. Go to what, Louise? Don't go to different groups, as opposed to giving it to nature's classroom again. Okay. Do you, do you have a motion that you would like to make? Um, I would say li maybe link. I mean, that would be helping the school also if mm -hmm. we gave them some money to link. And I don't know how people, I think the food pantry was running into shortages. Okay. But, you know, and next year we could do another group or something. Anybody else have? What, yeah, what, what does Link spend money on? I mean, what? what um, good question. Actually a good so question. They, yeah. they, they'll donate a lot of stuff to, like, um, like classroom teachers. So, like, if, you know, like, the teachers can come to Link and at, request funds to get, like, I remember. Like crayons. And, yeah, it might be, like, supplies. Or. It might be they want a rug for, like, the kindergarten classroom or, you know, something like that. It could be, like, random stuff for their classrooms. Um, they'll donate. They'll so like support Nature's Classroom with a scholarship money, um, just stuff like that. You know, things to support the school that the, isn't necessarily in the budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a PTA. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know if anyone else. But any other suggestions? Yeah. I mean, why don't you make a motion? All right. So I make a motion that the five hundred dollars be split between Link. Split evenly. You're right, evenly between the two, the link and the food pantry. So you're helping two, you're helping the kids, and you're helping the seniors. Yeah. Right. I'll okay. no second. All right. Hmm. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Mm -hmm. aye. aye. Okay, so also um, Berlin Farms has put together. 50 bags that they will give out to the kids, you know. And the bags are going to contain rock candy, a map of the Earth Ball, Lind Candy Bar, Earth Day stickers, popcorn ball, cotton candy, plant seeds, uh, Earth Day pin, reusable animal grocery bag, a tote bag, and Berlin Farm postcard. And oh my goodness! Pop I know. rocks. Wow! Yikes! Huh? That's, right. that's a so lot that's of merch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like swag right. bag, merch, sure. and in merch <laughs> and, ja and yeah. yeah, candy. Yep. Those. And <laughs> yeah. right, um, Berlin General Store is giving a uh, hundred gift certificates of five dollars each to kids who go around collecting trash. Awesome. And nice. hopefully we'll, that'll be enough for all the kids that take part. Awesome. So um, you had emailed me about how the kids get the bags from Berlin Farms. Are you going to pick uh, them up and bring them or have, you know, have them at yeah. Berlin Realty? Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, I liked your suggestion because then they can pick the bag. And what I thought we would do is we would open one bag and spread it yeah. out, right? So, so they, they can know see what what's is, in there. Mm. Or the $5 gift card. Okay, so they do get one or the other. Yeah. Right. right. And then they can choose until one of them runs out. Right. Right. So should we run out of, this would be like 150 mm -hmm. treats. Would we have money from, you know, conservation to... If you go through 150... <laughs> I was going to say. Right. <laughs> yes. So that we, we, the the, the, the yeah. Conservation Commission can do something. Yeah. Because um, well, I, mean, I will be shocked. Yeah, yeah, me too. We've never gotten... And actually, the gift cards haven't, been, haven't really been used. We gave 
I think I think he did twenty last year. We need ten of them back. Yeah. And yeah, that's why I don't think we're going right. to even yeah, post it. But so. Link thinks that they're well, they're two hundred twenty-five kids, and they said, "Oh, we're, we're sure we'll have at least a hundred. Okay, uh, that I'd would be, be fabulous. Yeah, it would be yeah. fabulous. I was surprised. Yep. But. Yeah. Right. So that okay. still gives you a surplus of fifty. Pardon? That still gives you a surplus of fifty. Right. Items. Yeah. So, and if need be, we will do something. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Right. And I think I mentioned we have cider donuts coming. Yep. Right. Coffee and the fixings of also with the Berlin General Store. Great. Oh, and uh, Jennifer um, asked about getting a something from oh, us. Oh, right. You know, to show that she donated. I think she said she spent five hundred and thirty something dollars. Right. Um, yeah. So after Earth Day, after mm -hmm. the donation actually happens, right, um, we can write a letter for tax right. purposes. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. Um, are there bags down at the transfer station? Yep. The plastic bags. Yeah. yeah. Do we have bags downstairs? No. No. Do that tomorrow. Yeah. Kay. Okay, so I have it to run into Peg, and she says we need a box that says Berlin Earth Day to put the bags in. Well, I've got a I've got a uh, plastic bin that the bags are okay. residing in right now, but yeah. I'll just bring okay. that over. Are there any clipboards in the and supplies? My room? idea was just put the the poster up there, right, on top of the. Yeah. You know. Are there any clipboards in the um, supplies? I think there are, yeah, about eight or ten. Yeah, well, I've got there are a quite couple. a few. Yeah, but there wasn't a single pair of gloves, no vests. There were four or five of the sharp pointed sticker things for picking up. Dirt. Right. But that yeah. was it. And but there's no a gloves. cooler I thought we for had water, some. right? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's all ready to go. We should fill it up. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, one other thing is, you know, we give out street assignments, but I, I think you and I talked about this. One of the options might be for family or something is to assign the parking lots for the trailheads. Because Gracie and I, we, we do it fairly often. It's not unusual to get a five-gallon bucket full of trash right. Right. at each one. Right. Yep. And somebody so, did the... Um, um, 40 caves two years ago yeah well I think, I think we should I think we should in addition to the map we should have a list of the parking lots and we can assign those mm -hmm. and scratch right. them off and say somebody went and did that one right yeah. yeah oh and there were two Girl Scouts at the um, Lions Club lunch they were mm -hmm. helping with everything and I asked them if they would be interested in Earth, working on Earth Day and there was a reason they said that they're not allowed to go out cleaning up the streets, and I think it had something to do with um, needles being found or something. Oh, like yeah, we found needles in the past. Right, I don't I know. I found but, needles in the past, too. But I said, mm. well, you know, we're working on the uh, garden and everything. They might be interested in working with that mm -hmm. on another time than yeah, Earth. Don't, don't have any reservations about a pair of willing hands. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll make a list of, yeah. do you want to make a list of yeah. the parking lots? Yeah. We'll just add that then to the map, it'll be just, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So. Awesome. Well, you guys are doing a great job. We should start promoting it on Facebook. Uh, it is on, posted on Facebook. Really? What, Earth Day? Yeah. Yeah, we put something on the uh, Berlin Neighbors Connect and the, right? How long ago? Two weeks ago, right. So we should yeah. do it again. Do it again, right? Yep. You know what we didn't post, and I can do. The, um, is that uh, Highland Liquors is doing the nip donation right. again? Yep. So that always gets lots of traffic yeah. too. Right. Lots of conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me. We'll have people come, sign up if there are kids involved. You know, say, okay, you can bring the bags back here, here. You know, and get your prize. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yep. <laughs> 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 so you're going to be there? Yeah, so I've got to drop Joe off 
um, for something, but Small so I probably won't be there till like eight thirty, quarter to nine, oh. and then I do need to leave by noon, I think. So, yeah. um, mm -hmm. but I can be there for a couple hours in the yeah. morning. Yeah, you want to do what we did last year? Yep. Okay, that works. <laughs> so, yeah. so Maddie and I will do Gates Pond Road okay. from my house at least down to Marlboro Road and back, okay. on both sides. And then depending on what we get, we may go past my house the other way. Mm -hmm. Although last year, somebody else did that end of Gates Pond Road. Um, well, I think they did. Somebody did up on uh, Sawyer Hill. Uh, I can't think of his name. But they go around picking up trash. Okay. Uh, maybe that's something we should do is recognize the people who do it on a regular basis. Like Stephen Rolfe over on Lancaster Road. Right. Yeah. And Bob Blair. Bob Blair. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, so do you want paper or plastic? <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually still have plastic bags in my car from last year. I moved them from one side. But I'll take a paper bag, too. Right. <laughs> you need a and bucket. Oh, we I've have got buckets, so are we going to have buckets we at... Over um, 30 now. I, I was. I talked to Stan about yeah, buckets today. So we're going to have them at uh, Berlin Realty, yeah, yeah. and people will bring them back to Berlin Realty, or they can bring That's it back to... When they bring their bag of trash, they bring the bucket. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to put our name on the buckets. I know. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have another successful... Yeah. yeah. Yep. We, we have a complication with the lighted yeah. sign. With what lighted sign? The one that we usually see down on the corner by oh, the garden. Oh, the highway sign? Uh, they're going to start doing some road work on the 25th. Ugh. So Fred was over there moving it this afternoon to over by Sawyer. Peach Hill. Uh, I think it was Sawyer Hill Road. Oh, well. Maybe that's different. I think that's road what work. he said. Right. Yeah. So what and he said he said they're putting, he putting in, a, a banner way. to announce the road work second, coming up. Second meeting in May. To okay. people going by now. Oh. And um, I had given him the, the narrative that we wanted in there. Except that the um, select board has the right. I don't. I don't know that we're going to get much airtime on that thing. Right. So maybe year. the the Lions Club that might be a, the has their little thing, and they yeah. had, of course, the the lunch thing. Right. I'm seeing Bob Blair tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. So they they can ask it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the, that it, would work. It's not blanky, but yeah. <laughs> Do we have any more signs left over? No. Uh, you gave me a list of twelve places, and I only received ten signs. Oh, okay. So, but you're going to take one to the, is, is it St. Patrick's? Where is that? St. Joseph's. Oh, St. Joseph's. Right. But I Give thought that months. that's kind of a bad corner when people, you know, are pulling out of the church parking lot. It can be pretty dangerous. So it's still over at the library? Yeah. I okay. left it at the library. You know, because if people are slowing down, you know, there might be some accidents happening. And people, you know, like on Sundays, people are trying to get out of the parking lot. But this and cars them. come flying through there. I don't know. I just didn't... Cross let the police worry on. about it. They yeah. think it's a problem. Yeah, yeah. They'll tell yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Well, we used to have a policeman there every Sunday directing traffic, but now it's a, only occasionally. Right. Yeah. There was also a big banner that there was put on the realty office. Is that in the surprise? I got a new one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we put that up the morning of, right? Uh, you don't want to put it up beforehand? Sure, I don't care. Yeah, maybe yeah. a couple of days. Okay. Right. Okay. I think I'm all set. All right. Good. And for those, for our viewers who are watching, it's April 27th? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're starting at nine o'clock and stopping at two, or whenever. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Not to say you can't pick up trash after two if you want <laughs> to. Exactly. <laughs> right. Talking to volunteers, when I was doing the uh, br cutting a brush along the wall on River Road, there I caught somebody out of the corner of my eye, and Henry Pacific shows up. Hey, Walt, yeah, I want to help you. We did four times. Working together, I kept a chainsaw going. I could hardly keep ahead of him. 
and, <laughs> and I was cutting big piling it all up and um, so we did quite a stretch there and uh, Tim is gonna push it up and I'll either burn it this year or next year but uh, then um, um, Jeff D'Amico said he'd come with his truck and chipper and we'll chip up some more of the stuff. There's a bunch of red maples, there's gaggly looking things, and then there's a couple of rock maples stretched along there and a hickory or two. We'll save the good ones and just have it look nice down there so we can see the ball players down in the field. <laughs> <laughs> if you drive by those three times. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Right. Well, so thank, anyway you for, thank you for cleaning that I up. I didn't know whether we might want to just... Uh, Send Henry a note. I uh, never mind. He, uh, well, okay. So that's now the next thing that comes up here. You know, it seems we don't. I don't think we get enough publicity. Um, who put our website together? The town's website. Yeah. Mm, some. I some think. Uh, I mean, you just Google up any town and look at the Conservation Commission website. The information on it. It's attractive things that they're doing, um, mm. you know, it's just, uh, when we do this corner field uh, garden there, by the way, I'll have six guys there, I mean, that's no problem. We, we should have volunteers, uh, I bet Steve Beard would come, and I could, yeah. Henry would show up, I'd show up, and you, you, we'd get stuff done. But I, I go to other towns, go to Sudbury there, and they have a garden club, and a lot of those little corners, like the Pleasant Street corner, are attractive gardens. I've seen people working in them, and we can't seem to get that involvement. I think people would do it. They don't know where to start. They just right. don't mm -hmm. seem to get into that. Yeah, you know, Louise and I tried structure. to tried to start a group like that a long time ago yeah, now, right. like ten years ago, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and nobody nobody bit. Nobody bit. Yeah. Right. And um, Sudbury's a little more populous and yeah. kind of right. a lot more money. Yeah. Probably right. more people with free time on their hands. Yes. Yeah. Right. A lot, lot, of, <laughs> lot of moms who are home during the day. Yeah. <laughs> so are you talking about the town website or are you talking about our Facebook page? Town website. Right. We do website. have access to that. We can manipulate that. Mm -hmm. right. So if there's something that you want to write that, to put up there, if you want pictures, uh, I'm sure I can figure out how to post pictures. But if you want to add content to it and want to put it together, I can get it up there. Well, I'm thinking, right. let's say we get this bluebird thing going. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get a Kestrel box thing going, although we don't want anybody looking at those. But the bluebird box thing could get something going. Mm -hmm. And getting uh, having a map of what this month you can see these wildflowers on this trail. Uh, you know the different species that we get them interested in knowing what's out there mm -hmm. um, right. it must well, be I know it can be done I'm not an expert on it there's a kid in town that is pretty good with um, websites and stuff and uh, in fact he's working on a real trail putting together a volunteer group yeah. uh, anyway yeah. it's just I don't think anybody's really responsible for the town website I don't know but like well, like I said, we have access to it. Right. It's just yeah. time, and it, yeah, it's you know. right. We just need the content. Yeah, um, right. I don't have the time really to put together content, mm -hmm. but if somebody wants to do that, yeah. um, then we can. Well, that's one thing. I'll, I'll I'll sit down and talk with a couple of people that do know how to do. It. I don't have the okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't either. <laughs> well, well, I know yeah. when I see one. Yeah, Mary or rather used to take time. some of our posts and put them on the. She would put them on the town website. I believe, I don't know if there still is, but I think there used to be a live Facebook feed. Where? On the town website for the town page. I don't know if it was our page, because I think we asked her to link it. Right. Yeah. I don't I tried remember. To I tried yeah. to find some information on the town website, and there was nothing there. You know. Huh. Yeah, I mean, just it would it be just nice go up to the search bar and type it in. Yeah. So that's one of those things that if you're still able to connect with like high school kids, like that's where yeah. right. the kind of thing where I feel like high school kids would really be able to add some value. Yeah. Right. Except that they need content. The content, yeah, you're yeah. Right. right. They uh, need the content. Yeah. I mean, some of it they might be able to pull. Like you could tell them to go look at 
uh, you know, if, if Walter knows of good examples, you know, we might be able to send them to look at those yep. and they could pull some of the public content, you know. Yeah, before the town redid the website that we have now, we looked into doing that. Um, we looked into having Asabet, the okay. kids at Asabet do that for us. And the they, they, without us giving them content, hmm. weren't super excited about Who it. Who did yeah. the, I mean, where did that young lady come from who did our Burland Conservation website? Remember she, was it Asabet? She I was working it, with Asabet? I think it was you Asabet. It's on, yeah, you go on the town website and looking through, and I came to Berlin Conservation, you look it up and there's this whole, you know, she did a whole thing on what we're doing and um, maybe that can be done. I'll look at, I'll, I'll be more specific next time. Okay. I'll get some information. <laughs> All right, and Maddie, so what do you have for us? <laughs> <laughs> so, I have oh, horseshoe ponds. <laughs> Conservation restriction with SVT's comments that we need to address and confirm if we're happy with them. <laughs> Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I don't know that we should have started. I was that is yeah, o'clock at that night. That might be an yeah. offline <laughs> thing that we regroup. I mean, is there a time limit on this? Can we, uh, like we have pushed it off a couple of meetings, so. Oh. <laughs> right. So is it what's in yellow? Yeah. So that's so it's not all of them, but right. SCT I, responded, and some do ask the town what our thoughts are. So like. <coughs> so right. I mean, most of this is pretty the, the lawyers worrying about. As noted above, the legal description of the premises is included in Exhibit A and reduced copies of survey plans. You know, like, like it's, it's mostly the lawyers talking to each other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we may want to take Kyle's name off of here. Yep. Yep. Yep, they did ask about that. Um, and then do you know if select board is Chris still chair or is it? Uh, yep. Chris, Scott, and Peg. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would say I'm fine with, with the lawyers. You know, if they... Yeah, I, I'm not going to look through that. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't have a bandwidth for this at 9 o'clock at night, to be honest. We're okay with that area being designated as parking area? Right. So, Maddie and I, it, we went out there, and then you met with Laura? Yep. They took right. pictures so and drew that up. Basically, this is the tree line. That's an existing parking area, isn't it? Like, isn't there, it, like, it kind of a... It essentially is. Like, right, it's where the old driveway was. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Off, off line. Um, oh, th right, this line, is the... Yeah. Right. I was just saying, because I thought there was, like, some sort of driveway-ish kind of thing yep. there. Yep, and it's or already... Not. And, like, the tree line is... Mm -hmm. The, like we just were like from that tree to that tree to yeah. those trees. Is that the that's the parking lot way down where the bus turnaround is? No, this is at Lyman and Linden. So that's what we're granting oh, a okay. CAD SVT on. It's it, it's a joint CR. We're gonna hold. We're gonna hold. No, but that that so if SVT has an, a. a um, CR on it. Mm -hmm. That's an extra protection against Correct. coming in and doing something against that. Tree. Correct. Yep. Yep. And when we were writing the CR with Krista, we allowed potential agricultural use in that corner yep. as well. Okay. So that's so this map just yep. gives the boundaries oh, for that. So that's an agriculture. All right. I yep. Yeah, right. The big the big block is the agriculture. Right. The little block is the parking. parking right. Yep. Okay. So when do we need a motion to accept it? I don't think so. It's more just let me know if you guys approve of that. Well, maybe, maybe it is good to motion to accept the exhibit E What's parking the area. What's Maddie? What do you want from us on this? Right. So. Don't you know. Yep. I looked at it. I approve of it on my part. <laughs> yeah. It looks great. Uh, uh, let me let me give you a hint. Because this is how I read this thing. I, it was like watching paint dry. So I accepted the changes in Word, Microsoft Word, and hit the button, and Word will read it to you, word for word. 
And I sat there and listened to the whole thing. Yeah. And it, for me, it was way better than trying to oh, read this. Lyman. Lyman. Yeah. Right. Yep. That, like, gets overgrown and then. Yeah, yeah. It's right. 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 So you had it read read yeah. to you, yeah. and how and how and how was it? Like it, listening to paint dry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's 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 a lot of legal speak, and we know that the people at SBT have this expertise. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they care as much as we do. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I I'm just, that's I why just I'm not had no about idea. This. If if. Right, so Tom, please confirm this language and corresponding figure exhibit E. Uh, capture your intent and future needs. We'll put to these together. Two right, so the parking exclusively within the area shown as parking area exhibit E, which is that. Um, the use, maintenance, and repair of one unpaved parking area. Except that it's paved already. Right. Except for the existing paving, yeah. okay. right? Because <laughs> it was the driveway for the house that had been there. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. I would move that we um, issue a statement that we accept what we've read there. Uh, as far as we're concerned, we accept that and leave it up to SVT to. Right. It, in, in looking through this, it looks like the biggest change is the adding of that. Yeah. Yep. So is yep. that a motion, Walter? Uh, if it's stated properly. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought you said it's a motion, but... Some of that is, a lot of it's questions, though, too. I don't know if you need to link. Right. Well, some of it's questions from the state and then SVT's response. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so right. page 13 also has something that we might be interested in reading, so asking. So SVT suggests 13% be inserted here, which reflects SVT's contribution to the total cost. So for the total cost, SVT has calculated based on the full purchase price, $1.25 million, plus project costs incurred and projects for the remaining costs to record the CR. Right. For SVT's contribution to the total cost, uh, SVT calculated based on... Uh, 100,000 contribution uh, contribution to purchase along with project costs mentioned above. Right. So they just want to be named as a grantee. Yep. going to be read why don't we take it home and read it yeah I, I agree with that I don't have the capacity to do this at this late at night mm -hmm. right it's like I'm trying to look for the beginning of the sentence yeah <laughs> and it's like up here um, yeah it's essentially 25 lines of prepositional phrases <laughs> yeah strung together crazy um, legal, uh, legally binding documents <laughs> yeah they make them so confusing that you're just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you think that that's whoop, that that's really the only part that? Yeah, basically that and approving this. Parking and approve it, right? Yeah. So let's approve this. How many cars can that parking area hold? I think it's like six or seven. Yeah. Is it that many? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When it's when it's maintained, because right now it can hold like two. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's also pretty. I mean, you could park across the street. Like you can park on the street. Yeah. On the like side there too. Park on Linden Street. Yeah. That's yeah. The there's, main there's that, that's area. pretty wide yeah. there. Yep. So. Yeah. I've seen cars on the corner of Linden Street. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So. If everybody's in agreement with Exhibit E and adding that to the document. So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So we've accepted that. Um, at least those of us, some of us will go home and read <laughs> this <laughs> paragraph. Um, 
and then Just anything else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, so which tell, page was that? Thirteen. Right, so it's, oh, not your third. Oh. No, you're 11. There you go. Okay, so yeah. this one here? Yep. Okay. So this. So page 13, grantees receipt of property rights? Yeah. Now do I send this to town council? Do we have emergency? Can we have to? <laughs> right. Um, it, it, Town Council has reviewed reviewed this, yeah. but it was prior Town Council. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. We kept them on. I think that was for Carter Street, though, right? Like we had them finish up Carter Street. I think so. I think so. Um, it's probably not a bad idea. Yeah. Let's ask Kristen. Okay. Let's ask Kristen if we have to do that. Okay. Right. When would she do that? Kristen. Isn't she on vacation or something? June's on vacation. Yep. Okay, yeah. I'll message Kristen and see what she yeah. thinks. Um, but if we do send it to town council, let's send it after all of these other questions are Okay. Are satisfied. Yep. So that hopefully they'll only have to read through it once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and the old law firm, good night, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> the old law firm, um, I think, made changes to justify what they were going to charge us. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that the new law firm is like that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they'll just be like, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Okay. Sorry, I had one more thing. Just so somebody reached out to us today. Uh, I gave them a call. So they live up on, or purchase 191 Lancaster Road. Uh, the area is right next to wetlands, and it's part of the land is borderland subject to flooding. 191, which one, what? I didn't see this email, <laughs> so. Is that the new house going in up there? What is that? So essentially it was like a kind of abandoned house. Right up against um, it. House. Oh, the one, the foreclosure. Yep. So they bought the property, um, and the previous owner kind of cut down some white pines and just kind of stacked the pines and debris all throughout the yard. Do you have the email that they sent? Uh, no. I should have that out. So it's, they sent an email being like, hey, give me a call. So I called. Um, Who is it? Jim. So this is Jim. on Lancaster mm. Road? Yeah. Yeah. We, we're on Lancaster Road. Uh, 191. 191. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Is it beyond where the concert, where you park? Yeah, Jim, Jim DeVincent. Do you know where he the McNamara's lives on Coburn? Hmm? Do you know where the McNamara's live? They're, it looks like it's right across the street from them. So, I don't know if you know them. Let's see. Oh, um, they're on the left hand side. Yeah, oh, you Jim know Jamie DeVincent. and Heather? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that's it's their house right there right yeah so it's i'm right just trying to oh. get my bearings oh, okay. of okay. where okay. on lancaster it is one more and what that's are you the talking about oh. right there i think or that's i think about that, i oh. think that's the so it's not farm. very far in right. in that's, from that's from, from bolton oh, okay. yeah well the mother has yeah. a house right over here mm -hmm. yep okay so oh, yeah, here. bolton town of right there's the line oh right yeah so near the town line so it is on the town line it appears to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's right at least. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And so what's the question? The, qu the so previous owner cut down some white pines. Yeah, cut some, some white pines. You just left the stumps like that in the yard. Okay. He's wondering if he could bring in some excavation machinery to dig them out. Um, uh, why not? I mean, right. it, we well, don't need to go through a whole hearing and everything else. Clean it up. Let them clean it up. Tear the fence out and clean the mess up. Is the fence the property line? Yeah, I think the fence goes along the well, property can, line. Uh, and he wants to like clean that brush out from that side of the fence too that was just piled close to the wetland anyway, so he would be doing the wetlands So here. the wetlands oh. are over here. Yep. And in then this photo too you can see the pile of brush that's right next to the wetlands. Oh right, yeah. 
Yeah, so they just threw the, the, yep, they, just the threw they cut the tree up and threw it over the fence. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. <Nice>. Yep. <laughs> So he was wondering if he had to like file an RDA with us or anything right. like that. Right. So, so none of where the heavy equipment is going to be is wetlands. Correct. He's just like reaching over the fence. Yeah. Yeah, I I think that's fine. Yep. And he mm. could put up, you know, straw waddles and stuff too to protect the area. And it's install flat, fence. I yeah. And he wants to, you know, seed, you know, the areas too. Yeah. So. Right. And anything that you think so. Let it grow natural, right, AJ? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'd be willing to go take a walk mm -hmm. wi with the property owner and just say, hey, be careful of this. Do, you yep. know, if yep, he, he was wondering if we would be willing to yeah. come out and give him some advice. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather do that than just say, yeah, do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Um, yep. Because okay. somebody could overhear that and say, oh, oh I can do yeah, that. Yeah, right. Do what I want. Right. Yeah. I, did, I, I don't have a problem with him cleaning it up. I'd just like to go out there and have a conversation with him about how he wants to do it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, try to set mm -hmm. up a sidewalk with him. Does this weekend work? Yeah, <laughs> fine. Saturday morning, not Sunday morning, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody else wants to come. I see him in the morning at coffee or something, and um, I'll just say, let's hop in a car, go take a look at it. I'll go look at it for you. Okay. okay. Yeah, it just, yep. it, yeah. Most people are logical, but it's the people who get a wild hair when you give them a blank check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. That's all I had. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Do we want to have associate members again? Is there anybody I, I, interested? <laughs> right, we need extra people before we can worry about that. Yeah. People, are, well, people are welcome to come in and attend yeah, our meetings right. and volunteer yeah. and do anything they want. Uh, yeah. right. Without making it a formal, you know, mm -hmm. right. not that I got anything really against it. But. Yeah. All right. If and nobody else has anything, uh, I will take a motion. I'll make a motion to end the meeting at 9, 11 p.m. Second. It's non-debatable. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Is it not too bad? Yeah. We don't often have that much, like, after stuff.